Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different than the normal Let's Plays and uh, I just want to discuss how I started my gaming channel and just general tips for up and coming YouTubers. Uh, there's some Destiny 2 gameplay in the background as well so I hope you guys enjoy that. And let's get into our topic for today's video which is how to start a gaming channel in 2020. I, like most of us, when I watch some of my favorite YouTubers, would have the general thought of, hey, I can do that as well. I mean, I like video games, and all they're doing is play the, playing the video game itself, but if only I had the right equipment. That mindset has kept me from posting long before I should have. And here is some very simple advice. Just do it. Even though you might be thinking to yourself, this is, you know, fairly basic advice, the problem is a lot of people... Uh, don't start their channels because they feel they they don't have the right equipment, uh, the right setup, the you know the right layout of what their channel is about, and without those things, they feel they won't make it. Uh, I found this trap as well, and it kept me from uploading for a long time. Uh, but there's no perfect you know opportunity to start YouTube. You just have to you know just go forth, just do it. Uh, you will get the hang of it. You will feel more comfortable posting, and get more comfortable speaking. Like anything, it is a process that you keep getting better at the more you do. Um, so I would say your mindset needs to change on this one from the get-go, since guaranteed some of your favorite YouTubers might not have had the greatest content when they first started out. The next topic we're going to talk about is uh, equipment. So now you're going to need some equipment when you want to record gameplay and, you know, and your voice. Um, a decent setup is required, but... You know what? Fit what is whatever is in your budget. Uh, don't overspend if you can't afford it because you saw one of your favorite YouTubers using it. Find the perfect ones for you and make sure to shop around and check reviews. Uh, for myself, uh, for recording gameplay, I use the MyPen 3.0 4K capture card. It cost me around 140. It's a hundred dollars cheaper than the Elgato capture cards and works well with my setup. Uh, prior to using the capture card, I was using the PS4 capture software that would allow me to record for an hour and would transfer over files to my computer and then I would be able to begin editing. But I wanted something that is, you know, more easy to use and not so much back and forth and also affordable. And I believe the MyPen capture card does exactly that. Uh, for recording my voice, I use the Moano AU-AO4 uh, for around 100 bucks. It's an affordable all-in-one mic kit that includes an arm, a pop filter, and a mic cap. Um, all in all, it's pretty affordable, you know, price for an all-in-one set. Uh, um, and it looks and sounds pretty professional. Also, for recording software, I use uh, Audacity, which is a free editing audio software. Uh, the video editing software that I use is Filmora 9 which is a great basic editing tool for beginners like myself, but is very easy to use if you're just starting out and want to get the hang of editing videos. Lastly, um, I use OBS Studio uh, for capturing the video of my gameplay straight to my computer for editing. It is simple to use, but make sure you get the right settings for your setup to maximize the quality. Of course, there are more advanced editing software, and if you feel comfortable using those, then go right ahead. Um, I would recommend whichever software that you use to look at you know, beginner tutorials on YouTube, as this will help you get started. By the way, these prices are in Canadian, uh, so you can most likely pick them up for cheaper if you're living in the States. But I will also link the products uh, I use down below in the description if you guys want to check those out. The next topic is consistency. Now, consistency, I think, is key when you want to start your channel. But I understand that people have a job or go to school or just generally busy, so your consistency could differ from mine. I'm currently in school, so I try for weekly uploads, but every now and then I take breaks because school takes priority for me. Uh, someone else's consistency could be uploading two or three times a week. Uh, just do what you prefer, but try and stick with it. In the same breath, however, uh, make sure to take breaks if you have to. You're allowed to take breaks if you feel mentally drained or stifled creatively, uh, your mental well-being is equally as important as your physical well-being. And the last topic that I want to talk to you guys about is how you view YouTube. For me personally, I treat YouTube as a hobby. 
I like the content that I make and the games that I play and do not feel burdened by trading it, you know, as a job. I know there are quite a bit of YouTubers out there who do use it as a job and it works for them. And of course, I would like to get monetized and see some cash flow coming in. However, by having a job and using this as a hobby instead, I think will decrease the amount of stress you might feel that these videos have to make it or break it for you. And the last tidbit I think I'll share is keep grinding and make videos that you enjoy making and something that makes you happy. I think in the long run that will be way more beneficial to you. I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Thank you.